Hello everybody. I'm getting ready to install some electric quartz infrared heaters. They look something like this. There are several different versions of the heater out there and in most cases I think they seem to be very reasonably priced. However, I was very surprised at how expensive the on-off switches were, so I set out to find a cost-effective and safe alternative. In my particular application, I'm going to use a single heater which has two 3,000 watt heating elements, so a total of 6,000 watts, and therefore I need two switches, one to control each element. The closest standard Leviton switch that I could find was this one here, 5627-W. The W stands for the color. It's rated 20 amps. I called Leviton Tech Support to ask them to clarify whether this was 20 amps per switch or 20 amps for the device. After some discussion with the customer service representative, I was told that the switch could handle a combined 16 amps. The example they gave me was 15 amps on one switch, one amp on the other. And I said, well, what does the 20 amps stand for? And they did not have an answer for that. So I believe the technical person is wrong on this. And the reason I say that is that the 16 amp rating happens to be for a one horsepower motor. So they're saying that one of the switches is rated for one horsepower or 16 amps. It has nothing to do with the device rating. And here's the final proof of why I've concluded that. Here's a picture of the 5627 switch and notice the markings in the mounting tab here. It is stamped in the steel mounting tabs 20 amps 120 slash 277 volts AC each. This tells me that each switch on this device is rated 20 amps. You may also want to consider using this style toggle switch the 5334 it has the same electrical ratings as the other switch. Here are some other 20 amp Leviton switches you could also use. Uh, there are four of them shown here on this particular page. Obviously you need two switches if you have two heating elements you're trying to control as in the 6000 watt heater. One thing I did want to point out is that this is a genuine Infratech switch and it is clearly a Leviton brand and also marked as I had shown you earlier with uh, 20 amps each but what I think is interesting is if you look at the side of this you'll notice the spacing on these terminals so there's the ground screw and then two black terminals and over here two brass terminals and you'll notice the spacing between the black terminals on the left and the brass terminals on the right is different. The spacing of those terminals on the Leviton product sheet is definitely different. Here's the product sheet. You can see that the terminals are almost directly across from each other. I don't know whether the picture is accurate or whether it's an old picture, but I point out that difference to you in case it has some meaning. Here's a similar switch from uh, Pass and Seymour, which is a uh... Legrand company, PS81120W, which is a 20 amp switch. According to Legrand tech support, the PS811-20 is rated 20 amps per circuit maximum. However, the device has a maximum current rating of 30 amps. So essentially that means only 15 amps per circuit. Here are the wiring diagrams from various manufacturers showing how to connect the switches to a dual element heater. I think it's interesting that one of the manufacturers says don't break the tab away unless you have two separate feeder circuits. Whereas on the Infratech switches that I've seen, the tab's already broken away when you get them from the manufacturer. So, not sure what that's all about, but Again, I bring it to your attention in case it has some meaning in your particular application. So thanks for watching. If you found this video at all helpful or informative, how about a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel.